Hey guys, I'm Chris and I'm a health coach here at Parsley's New York Center. And I wanted to chat a little bit today about the upcoming holiday season, dieting, and how to navigate through this time in a way that feels really good and healthy. So holidays can bring up a lot. If we find ourselves on diets or trying to lose weight, we often feel like we can't enjoy ourselves and holiday events and parties become more about what we should be eating and shouldn't be eating and feeling guilty or derailed from our diets and just not having fun at all. So at Parsley Health, we wanna help you navigate through this time and feel like you can make decisions that are health healthy and sustainable and keep you feeling good this holiday season. So the holidays don't have to be all or nothing, right? Um, if you tend to struggle with your relationship to food or your body or find yourself on this whole roller coaster of dieting and just feeling overall confused and stressed about food choices, you may want to think about a different approach to the way we eat food. Um, and this approach is called intuitive eating, and it's something we talk about a lot to kind of get off the diet train and find habits that really feel good for you and your body. So intuitive eating is an approach that really gives you the freedom to eat whatever your body's craving and gives you full permission to listen to your body, eat what you want without feeling shame or guilt around it. So it's not based on food rules and food restrictions or weight loss, but rather it really teaches us to um, listen to our body's internal cues and respect them. So research shows us that this mindful approach to eating actually works, and we see things like binge eating and overeating and emotional eating decrease in folks who struggle with these things, um, and also a decrease in generally looking for external cues around what to eat and when to eat it, and a healthier relationship with food. And while this approach is in no way meant to be a diet or even focuses on weight loss, it actually is shown to prevent the same type of weight fluctuations um, that we might be trying to avoid with restrictive diets. So let's talk about how we can eat more intuitively, right? So there are 10 principles to intuitive eating, and I wanna talk about a couple of the more major ones that we wanna to look to when we're starting to heal our relationship to food. And the first one is gonna be ditching the diets. So the reality is, is that diets don't work, right? Research suggests that 95% of people who go on a diet and lose weight are gonna regain that weight within one to five years. And I'm sure if you've dieted most of your life, you know that this is an experience that is really common. So not only does this restriction mentality really create a negative relationship with food, but it also can lead to yo-yo dieting and um, affect our health in ways like blood sugar and cholesterol and heart health, um, and also can increase our risk of eating disorder and disorder eating behavior. So ditching the diet is key in, with intuitive eating, and one of the ways we can do that is just clean house. Get rid of your diet books and stop following all those accounts that make us feel awful about uh, the foods we're eating or our bodies. And um, another one that I like to recommend is ditching the scale as well. So staying away from worrying about a number and really thinking about how our bodies are feeling and what feels good and bad for us. So the next principle I wanted to talk about was honoring hunger and fullness, right? So traditional diets teach us not to listen to our body signals. It tells us to listen externally and have rules and things that we have to follow about how much to eat and when to eat it. And intuitive eating really asks us to listen into our body's cues of hunger and fullness and respect them. And so as you go through the process of eating intuitively with things, with tools like mindful eating, um, you can really start to listen to your body's natural hunger cues, respect those hunger cues, and also understand what it feels like to feel full and good. So another big principle in intuitive eating is making peace with food. And this means that you give yourself unconditional permission to eat whatever you want and whatever you're craving. Um, now there are some caveats here. So if you do have a really specific food allergy or sensitivity or something more significant like celiac, we do want to take that into consideration. Um, but generally speaking, we're trying to just make all foods fit in a neutral way so that that reward mentality and those that temptation um, idea around food kind of goes away and we can see all foods as neutral. 
So when we do eat intuitively, we get to do this amazing thing, which is listen to our bodies, right? So if you um, have a sensitivity to dairy, for instance, or to gluten, um, it can be hard to actually listen to that when we're constantly thinking about weight or dieting or feeling like we can never have these foods, right? But if you can um, listen in and see, okay, when I eat dairy, I have a stomach ache or I get a headache, and you can notice those cues without any judgment or guilt around the foods you're eating, it becomes way easier to take that information and use it. And those foods might be something that you do want to avoid for the most part, and that's okay because you're intuitive, intuitively listening to your body. So we also want to, um, on this intuitive eating journey, find a way to have other emotional outlets besides food to cope with emotions that we might be having. So food can be a coping mechanism, right? We can use it to soothe and comfort, um, but what happens is if this is the only tool in our emotional toolkit, it can get overused and then we find it just isn't working. You know, if we use a tool to fix, try to fix all the things that are wrong with that one tool, it's not gonna be the best um, way to actually fix the problem. So um, intuitive eating really teaches us some coping skills and ways to cope with our emotions outside of food so that we don't feel so reliant on food as a mechanism for coping. And some of these things might be um, you know, building a meditation practice or journaling or maybe finding a movement um, or exercise plan that feels really good for your body. And so looking at what can really serve our emotions and what can really make us feel supported and healthy in these moments. So intuitive eating doesn't just take all the healthy you know eating principles and throw them out the window um, it really does encourage us to eat nutrient dense foods as a main part of our diet the difference is is that if we struggle with our relationship to food and our bodies we got to work on that first and work on the emotional aspect of food before we can really trust our bodies and feel good about making food choices um, so that is a quick and dirty on intuitive eating and some of the main principles and I'm hoping this is really helpful for you during the holiday season and there are a couple different ways you can try this out. So one way that I encourage you to try this out is honoring your hunger. So oftentimes maybe there's an event coming up or some holiday gathering and we might find ourselves like skipping meals or not eating for the main part of the day so that we can somehow save up room for that holiday event and not feel as guilty. And I encourage you to try listening to your hunger, try having a balanced breakfast and lunch and snack if you need it, and then see how you feel when you get to that event. I'm sure that you'll find you have a different experience with the foods on your plate at that event, you know, rather than skipping um, full meals before going. Another way we can work on intuitive eating is you get to a party or a gathering and you see an amazing spread of food and a lot of desserts or a lot of dishes that maybe you wouldn't normally eat and maybe it's a little bit overwhelming and you feel a little bit out of control. Try to shift your perspective into that neutral food neutrality space. Tell yourself if you had full access to all these foods and unconditional permission to have all the pies and all the you know stuffing and all the things every day what would you choose in this moment what would you really want to enjoy in this moment and i guarantee you'll start to see yourself actually having a plate that's nice and balanced and really enjoying the food that's on your plate um, in that moment and then moving on to the next okay so intuitive eating is a really great approach that takes us you know away from this idea of wellness as just another diet and really considers the whole person and you know moving away from just looking at health as a physical um, outcome and more of a whole body approach where we're considering you know emotional well-being mental health um, and making sure that you know we really do honor and respect our bodies rather than creating more stress um, around what we're eating and how we're eating it, um, which can affect our health just as much.